Hey, how's it going everybody? Back again to make my final friction fire video. I know lots of ways, but I'll be retiring them all after I discovered this new technique last night. And there's my fire kit. A dried out piece of chaga. And a piece of broken off tree. It's a little wetter than I'd like it to be, but it should still work. It's going to take a little longer than it would if it was really dry, but let's see if we can get a spark going here for you. I don't need to worry about tinder with this method because I got the tinder in my hand. going and like I said that took longer than it would if it was dry that thing's going you don't have to worry about it going out in fact you have a hard time putting it out and that'll smolder for hours like that I don't have to worry anymore. This ain't the best tinder, but it should work with that big of a coal going. Birch bark takes a, a high temperature to get going. There we go. Wood shavings would have been much faster, but this thing will keep going. It won't stop. I have to dig all that out or put it into an airtight container to smother it. That's how you get it out, but there's no sense wasting this whole piece. Still plenty of fires left in that. Ooh. Ouch. Anyways, that's my new method. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I find it pretty easy and amazing. You got your tinder already in your hand. It makes the, the ember. And you don't have to worry about anything else. Chunk of wood and a chunk of chug and you're good to go. Nice. Hope you enjoyed it.